Up until recently, autonomous aircraft, armed robots, and lasers were the stuff of science fiction dreams. But today, the U.S. Air Force is turning those dreams into reality. Drones, laser guns, and hypersonic aircraft are no longer confined to the pages of sci-fi novels. These are real projects developed by real specialists, and they're set to revolutionize the battlefield. Imagine a world where drones perform intricate maneuvers autonomously, laser guns provide pinpoint accuracy, and hypersonic aircraft blitz across the sky at unprecedented speeds. This isn't a distant fantasy. It's the cutting edge of military technology. The United States is leading the charge, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and setting new standards for aerial warfare. Want to know which U.S. Air Force aircraft will tip the scales of global power? In this video, we'll dive into the groundbreaking technologies and projects that promise to reshape the future of combat aviation. From stealthy drones to hypersonic fighters, we'll explore the innovations that will ensure America remains at the forefront of air superiority. Stay tuned, because the future of warfare is unfolding right before our eyes. B-21 Raider Let's delve into one of the most groundbreaking additions to the U.S. nuclear triad, the next generation strategic bomber, the B-21 Raider. Developed by Northrop Grumman, the same team that brought us the legendary B-2 Spirit stealth bomber, this aircraft is poised to redefine aerial combat and strategic bombing for the 21st century. The journey of the B-21 Raider began in 2011 under the highly classified Long Range Strike Bomber LLRSB program. Officially named the B-21 Raider in 2016, it earned its designation for two reasons. The 21 inches signifies its status as the first bomber of the 21st century, and Raider honors the daring exploits of Doolittle's Raiders during World War II. Projected to have a range of approximately 6,000 miles and the capability to carry over 20,000 pounds of payload, the B-21 Raider is designed to surpass its predecessors, the Rockwell B-1B Lancer and the B-2 Spirit. Its ability to strike any target anywhere in the world at any time of day is pivotal for maintaining U.S. air superiority. While its speed is Mach 0.8, the Raider's large fuel capacity and in-flight refueling capabilities granted unprecedented operational versatility. The B-21 Raider's configuration is both similar to and distinct from the B-2, showcasing decades of stealth advancements. Key design elements, like the deeply recessed air intakes, are critical for maintaining stealth while ensuring core functionality. These features highlight Northrop Grumman's expertise in composite structures and material science, reflecting countless hours of advanced computer modeling and innovative engineering. One of the most striking advancements in the B-21 Raider is its unobtrusive coating and design, allowing it to be parked outdoors under a canopy year-round. This contrasts sharply with the B-2 Spirit, which requires hangars with special temperature controls. This innovation not only simplifies logistics, but also enhances the Raider's deployment flexibility. The Raider's arsenal is set to be significantly more varied than that of the B-2. In addition to the latest air-launched cruise missiles with nuclear warheads, such as the AGM-181 long-range standoff weapon, the B-21 can be equipped with electronic warfare-enabled air-launch decoys, defensive and supportive air-to-air -air capabilities, anti-radiation, and extended-range quick-reaction missiles, drone-launched air-to-air missile carriers, hypersonic cruise missiles, and even combat lasers. The Air Force places considerable hope in these advanced weapon systems to maintain strategic dominance. As of 2022, the estimated cost of a single B-21 Raider stands at $700 million. The U.S. Air Force plans to invest at least $23 billion over the next 30 years to develop, procure, and operate a fleet of at least 100 of these bombers. This significant investment underscores the critical role the B-21 Raider is expected to play in the future of U.S. military aviation and strategic defense. NNGAD 
The B-21 Raider may be the latest marvel in strategic bombers, but the future of the U.S. Air Force's fighter jets promises even more revolutionary advancements. Enter the sixth-generation, next-generation air dominance, NGAD fighter, set to replace the current Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor fleet. This program aims to create the ultimate fighter jet, incorporating cutting-edge technologies to secure air supremacy for decades to come. The NGAD program has evolved from envisioning a single aircraft to developing an entire family of systems, with the central element known as the Penetrating Counter Air, PCA, platform. This approach ensures comprehensive capabilities, including the best propulsion systems, maximum stealth, and the most modern weapons. To achieve this, the Air Force initiated parallel programs. The Adaptive Engine Transition Program, AETP, and the Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion, NGAP. Visible results from these efforts are expected as early as 2025. Current aviation trends dictate a trade-off between maneuverability and enhancements in range, payload, and stealth. The NGAD fighter's design will be streamlined, featuring an elongated mixed fuselage and a wing configuration devoid of traditional horizontal and vertical stabilizers. This tailored design aims to maximize survivability by reducing visibility in the radio frequency range. The aircraft will likely operate at altitudes over 60,000 feet, similar to the F-22 Raptor, providing superior line-of-sight distance and radio horizon service range. Complementing the planned 200-unit NGAD fleet, announced by Air Force officials in 2023, will be a fleet of drones known as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCAs. These drones will serve as loyal wingmen, operating in tandem with the NGAD fighters and the existing fifth-generation F-35 Lightning II jets. This combination aims to create a formidable force capable of maintaining air dominance. Unlike the B-21 bombers, NGAD fighters are unlikely to carry nuclear weapons. Instead, they will almost certainly be equipped with an advanced arsenal of hypersonic missiles and combat lasers. These cutting-edge weapons will enhance the NGAD fighters' capabilities, making them a critical asset in maintaining the U.S. Air Force's strategic and tactical superiority. F-AXX while the U.S. Air Force advances its NGAD program, the U.S. Navy is not standing idly by. It is preparing its own sixth-generation fighter under the F-ASX program, designed to replace the existing Boeing F-A-18E-F Super Hornets and EA-18G Growlers, and to complement Lockheed Martin's growing F-35C Lightning II fleet. With adversaries like the PRC developing coastal defense missiles that outrange current U.S. Navy fighters, the F-AXX must not only surpass these missiles in range, but also avoid detection. This new fighter will have to operate in hostile, contested airspace without relying on periodic mid-air refueling from a stealthy platform. To achieve this, the F-AXX will adopt adaptive engines capable of efficient long-distance cruising. Similar to the NGAD program, the F-AXX will utilize adaptive engines. One such engine, the XA-100, is being developed by General Electric. These engines are designed to provide efficient cruising while maintaining stealth, a crucial requirement for the F-AXX missions. The F-AXX will feature an open architecture, allowing for various payloads and sensors to be integrated, there will be a significant emphasis on supporting autonomous operations, enhancing the flexibility and capability of the aircraft in complex mission environments. An important aspect of the FAXX's armament is the inclusion of power and cooling systems for directed energy weapons. These systems, along with advanced sensors capable of tracking targets with small radar cross-sections, will give the F-AXX a significant edge. Additionally, the possibility of integrating a cyber warfare platform further underscores the Navy's forward-thinking approach to future combat scenarios. MQ-25 Stingray 
as seen with the U.S. Air Force's NGAD fighters and the operational F-35 fleet, drones are playing an increasingly critical role in modern warfare. A prime example of this advancement in unmanned military platforms is Boeing's MQ-25 Stingray, the world's first unmanned aerial tanker designed to enhance the capabilities of U.S. Navy carrier-based aircraft. According to the U.S. military, the Stingray program is a significant step towards transitioning to the future sixth-generation fighter, the F-AXX. The MQ-25 will meet the carrier's need for tankers, thus freeing up to 30% of the Navy's fleet of F-A-18E-F Super Hornets, which are currently performing refueling roles. This reallocation allows the acquisition of additional F-35C aircraft, optimizing combat capabilities. Initially, there were plans to make the drone more secretive, incorporating concepts like a flying wing. Although some of these ideas were set aside, the Stingray still retains stealthy features, such as a streamlined fuselage, a V-shaped tail unit, and an air intake design that conceals the engine blades from enemy radars. The MQ-25 Stingray boasts significant autonomy, capable of delivering over 16,000 pounds of fuel across a range of up to 500 nautical miles, approximately 580 conventional miles. This capability is crucial for extending the operational range of carrier-based aircraft, enhancing mission effectiveness. The MQ-25 development program has been one of the most prolonged for the U.S. Navy, following the principle of moving quietly but achieving substantial progress. For instance, experts in 2024 were surprised to see the UAV's arsenal include stealth anti-ship cruise missiles, specifically the AGM-158C long-range anti-ship missile, LRASM. Additionally, an electro-optical sensor sphere was noted under the nose, in front of the forward landing gear, indicating advanced targeting and surveillance capabilities. The Navy plans to acquire 76 of these drones, with a budget exceeding $13 billion. This investment underscores the importance of the MQ-25 Stingray in future naval operations, providing a strategic advantage in both refueling and combat scenarios. Boeing E-7 Wedge Tail With advancements in bombers, fighters, and drones, the U.S. services require a cutting-edge control and intelligence system to coordinate these innovative platforms equipped with lasers, drones, and hypersonic weapons. Enter the Boeing E-7 Wedgetail, a twin-engine long-range radar detection and control AWACS, airborne warning and control system aircraft developed from the Boeing 737 Next Generation. As of 2024, orders for this aircraft have surpassed 7,100 units. The E-7 Wedgetail features a fixed active electronically scanned array, AEESA radar antenna, unlike the rotating radar on the Boeing E-3 Sentry, which it aims to replace in the U.S. Air Force fleet. Originally developed for the Royal Australian Air Force in 1999 under Project Wedgetail, the aircraft's distinctive radar antenna shape akin to a cylinder rather than a round dish, earned it the nickname Top Hat. The E-7's radar can simultaneously search for targets in the air and at sea, control fighters, and perform terrain searches with a maximum range of 373 miles in lookup mode. Additionally, the radar antenna array functions as an electronic intelligence, ELINT, setup, with a maximum range of over 528 miles and an operating altitude of 30,000 feet. In 2022, the U.S. Air Force officially announced that the E-7 Wedgetail was the only platform capable of meeting the Department of Defense's requirements for tactical battle management, command and control, and moving target display capabilities within the necessary time frame. Just a year later, the Air Force awarded a $1.2 billion contract to develop two new variants of the E-7, specifically for the United States, with plans to build a fleet of 26 aircraft. The first E-7 is expected to enter service with the U.S. Air Force in 2027. What aircraft would you like to see on this list? 
let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.